Okay, I'm finally making myself to a job that I've been putting off for absolutely ages, and it's the pond. So a lot of the foliage from the ginkgo tree falls into the pond over the autumn and winter, and it sinks down to the bottom and uh, makes it really murky and dirty. So what I want to do is get that up, put it around the edges so any critters can come back in, then that will eventually go onto the compost heap, take out some of this duckweed and all my pond plants, and this is just like a couple, I've got loads over here and over here that I've already taken out. All of those really need a good looking at whether they need repotting and I've got aquatic soil, whether they need to go up into a bigger pot and I've got some more pond pots. Um, so it's quite a big job, which is why I've been putting it off. And also it's a filthy job. <laughs> so I've got my scruffs on. I've also got a new purchase. which I'm hoping is going to make this a lot easier. Now, ideally, I would have done this in the autumn or the early spring before there was any frog spawn. Now, I have had some frog spawn in here, but um, I haven't seen any evidence of it for a while and I think it might have all been eaten um, so that's something I don't have to worry about if I just sort of have a little look on the surface I can't see any tadpoles which is a shame there's lots of other little creatures in here though um, and that's why you've got to be careful and that's why I'm going to put things around the side so things can come back in we'll take out the uh, broken solar fountain try and fix that in a bit and um, maybe start with just some of this duckweed. Now the good thing about this duckweed is it's really good for your compost. There's a lot of goodness in that. Oh those little snails. Now there's a plant here growing. wonder what that is. I have got oxygenators in here so we will find things like this. Oh no that's an actual plant. Okay looks a bit dead. Did have a really long thing on it though. Okay, we'll put that over here with the other pond plants and deal with that in a moment. Oh, these are really stuck together. Oh, oh dear. See what I mean about repotting? So many newts. Oh dear. There's like six newts all at once there. Come on, back into the pond. This way. This way. There we go. This way. This way. Come here. Thank you. There we go. <sighs> I mean, they're always there, so I don't know if there's a good time to do this. But, uh, yeah, obviously it's not nice to to disturb them but they do find their way back into the pond there's one. Oh, you're upside down come on these are the little yellow belly newts so uh, i think they might even be protected oh, there's one off you go back into the pond there's a frog. No frog. Oh, there's another frog. Frogs everywhere. Big frog. Oh, off he goes. Oh, there's a newt. Here we go. See another little newt. It's his yellow belly. In he goes. 
Off you go. So the pond is now relatively clear. The frogs are trying to get out, so I've just put some logs and things down there, and they have indeed used the, you're using it to climb out. Um, but I do have two shallow areas in this pond, but then it's quite deep in the middle, and there isn't actually really any easy way to get out because there's a little ledge around the top, which is why I use branches and things across the pond so things can crawl in and out. But in terms of my um, aquatic plants, most aquatic plants that you buy from the garden centre, other than a water lily, want to be marginal plants. And for the amount of plants I have, I do not have enough marginal space in this pond. So what I want, have done in the past is try to raise up in the middle so my plants can sit together in the middle. Um, I've done this to varying success and I want to try something new this time, which is one of these crates. <laughs> So I think if I can sink this crate into the middle, uh, my plants can then sit on top of it quite happily. Now before that goes in, I have some other things to put back in. I've got a big rock here, I've got these pipes, the things that um, creatures can, can hide in at the bottom of the pond. So I want to sink those back in, um, but also my water lily needs to go in before the crate. And I think the water lily is actually fine because I repotted that last year. And I shall sink that back in, right down that end. There it goes. Let's have a test. Still quite low. I wonder if I could put one on top of the other. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, that does make it a bit taller. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Right, let's put my... Oh, <laughs> it's floating up. But it will stay down once the plants are on it. Let's pop these back in. Okay, so now that the area is prepped, we can start looking at these plants. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that needs some, some dividing. Um, okay, we're going to need a knife. So if I, I think you can probably just cut through these, but it's got root and tuber, that will be fine. Take those off. And uh, this will then make several plants, which I can have for the allotment or give to my cousin, because she's got a relatively new pond. Yeah, each one of those, look, has got a lovely piece of root on. And then we've got the plant proper. So we've got this big bit of root, which I think uh, is probably done. Let's see if we can get it out of the pot. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. There we go. Uh, so let's cut those two bits off as well and they can separate into two I think okay. so from that one plant we now have one two oh there's another little one three four five six seven eight eight pond plants <laughs> and that can go in the compost heap Go in there and I'll pop one up for the pond. 
So one of these baskets that has all the little holes in, perfect. They are pond plant baskets. We put a little bit of horticultural grit in the bottom, which is going to help anchor it. And then some of this aquatic compost, which is very much just like sand. And we'll take one of our plants, pop it in. and top with grit which will keep the compost from just washing away there you go now that's one plant ready to go back into the pond but before i do that i am just going to um put it in the water so that it gets heavy with the water and then it will sit in the pond nicely but yeah, this isn't the perfect time of year to do this. And um, certainly if there had been frog spawn in the pond, I wouldn't have done it. Or I would have at least tried to have scooped that out and then done a light sort of clean. But really autumn is the best time to do this just before everything starts going into hibernation. Right, next one. They really do just go crazy in the pond. Um, so this is a grass. And actually, this doesn't have to be a pond plant. This grows in my, my borders as well. But it's, oh my goodness, it's so matted around the pot, this root. I have to cut some of this off as well. Gosh, if I thought I'd made a lot of plants with that last one. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Now this is an interesting one, because not only have you got all the grasses, um, but look what's growing here. And I think that is a, um, oh gosh, what is it? Yeah, this is, the, <laughs> this is the good thing about keeping all your labels. So this is my plant, pond plant folder. So that's that, um, which is a chorus gramineus ogon. Um, yeah, yeah. And the one that I'm trying to remember, oh, I hope I still got that one. Um, that one, ah, Lobelia, that's it. Um, so you see it's got the dark leaf. I think that is what that is. And it wasn't in that, it was in this one, but it seems to have traveled into that one and died in that one. <laughs> Pond plants, crazy. Um, right, we'll keep that there in case we need to look something else up. Okay, so what I want to do is get the lobelia out and put that in its own pot. And these grasses, well, <laughs> I've just potted up. What have I done? I've just potted up two and made a load of more plants. I probably don't need all of these ones. And I've got another one over there. Oh my God, look at that. I wish I had an absolutely enormous pond and I could keep them all. Yeah, <laughs> that's about killed me and uh, it doesn't look brilliant at the moment obviously all of this will wait a few days and then eventually get moved to the compost heap and then hopefully the plants themselves will settle and start growing and uh, look a lot healthier than they did last year I've just watered with some um, on the uh, pond clear so hopefully that will help as everything get I mean everything's been churned up so as it settles it should clear um, but that should should help as well but uh, that's almost broken me um, yeah my back is pretty achy now it's time for the bathtub 